Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Top nine list, but not my top nine list. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so back to the top nine list here. So again, this list is from the Tennis Industry Association, the TIA. Uh, reports that uh, retailers get only. You guys uh, can Google it, but you'll never see this. So it's kind of a, an inside thing. Um, if you guys know what Nielsen ratings are, it's the television ratings for every week that tells you what the most watch shows were uh, in America. You know, like you know, back in the day, it was Cosby show, like basically pretty much dominated every week at the number one slot. You know, they would send you that survey with a $1, a crispy $1 bill in it and hope that you fill out the survey with what you watched or the top three shows you watch every week. And then you send it back and then it, they kind of tabulate uh, those, you know, the winners, let's say, of the week. Uh, but so this is from the TIA and it's surveyed by how many rackets landed into these particular group of pro shops, pro shop specialty only, not the big, you know, not the big guys. So not the warehouses, not the expresses. It's only tennis specialty, kind of like me. So um, I wasn't part of the survey, but it's people like me who basically contribute to it okay so let's start with number nine okay the number nine top selling racket for the first quarter january through march in tennis specialty is or was the pure drive team okay so the 10.1 ounce version of the pure drive was number nine um, doesn't surprise me. We sell a ton of these to, uh, you know, women, children, um, of most ages. Um, it's actually a perfect weight for, for that type of player. Number eight, we got head radical MP. So this racket came out maybe a little over six months ago and kind of immediately rocketed up to the number six slot. It makes a lot of sense because the Radical MP has been their number one seller, Head's number one seller, for in a long time. This is their number one selling racket from Head. So, and it, it continues. Number seven, kind of a surprise um, to us or to me, is the, the Rafa Arrow. This kind of surprised me because, you know, I know he's been using it for a long time, but they hadn't been readily available to everybody. So um, I'm guessing pretty much every shipment that went out to these stores um, left the stores pretty quickly because these Carnival uh, type of colored rackets in the Rafa are pretty much in demand every year. We get these every year we sell out. Um, whatever Rafa uses and whatever they promote for the Roland Garros um, sells out. I mean, it's something about the, the crazy colors. I mean, I love that orange. Number six, my racket, Clash Pro slash Clash Tour. Um, again, it's now a Clash Pro now, uh, which is the same as the previous tour. Nothing different except for the name that is it so top number six on the line my racket number five feds feds 12 ounce stick a um, little bit of a surprise here as it is a little heavy uh, that tells me that uh, either there are a lot of players out there or there are a lot of players that shouldn't be using this racket out there just because you like fed because there's a lot of people toting a 12 ounce racket uh, that I believe probably shouldn't be, but, uh, but it made number five. It made number five. This one makes a little more sense. We got the, uh, regular pro staff 97 at number four. Um, I, a lot more people can definitely use it. A lot of college kids, um, higher intermediates, uh, to advanced players definitely can use this. 
I know a bunch of juniors want to be like, like fed. And this is definitely an easier stick to handle than the 12 ounce version. Number three, no surprise, Clash 100. This has been a top stick uh, pretty much since it came out um, year, two years ago now, over two years ago now. And it, it lands on number three on this list, um, which makes total sense. It's been top three, top two for the last two and a half years. Number two, bananas. Everybody buys bananas around here. So Banana Arrow is the second top selling racket in tennis specialty. Um, it's always been a top three racket. Juniors love it. Intermediates love it. So no surprise here either. Number one selling racket, even my number one selling racket currently, is the Pure Drive. This racket was launched uh, at the end of 2020 and pretty much skyrocketed to the top. Um, inventory was great. Therefore, we sold a lot over Christmas. We sold a lot into the new year. So still a top selling racket. Probably a form of a pure drive has been the number one selling racket in the last 15 years. Uh, it's definitely have been at least a top three in the last 15 years. So makes a lot of sense. So pure drive number one. Now, as you can see by all of these rackets, that is pretty much dominated by Wilson Babolat. So the only one that's not Wilson Babolat is head. So, but this has been a top 10 racket for a um, long time. And so it's the only non Wilson Babolat on the list. Now I'm going to take you to the wall here that a um, couple things surprised me, but then I can explain why. Um, the strike in the 1619, which I don't have any right now, um, didn't make it on the list. Usually this would definitely make it on the list. But since I personally haven't gotten a bunch of them since November, I'm guessing that had to do with the shipping thing. So, but usually I believe this would make it on the list, um, the Strike 1619. The other one that surprised me that didn't make the list is the Blades. Blade 1619 would usually be on this list too. Uh, but because of shipping problems, you know, there may be like a huge container of this at the bottom of the ocean, is the rumors that I hear, um, is why I'm short everybody's short the whole world seems to be short of blade 1619s so therefore they didn't make it into the tennis specialty stores but usually this would be there too um so so guys what do you think does that list make sense um do you play with some of these yeah let me know okay so that's the top so that's the top nine rackets by sold into tennis specialty stores as surveyed by the TIA, the Tennis Industry Association. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.